hi friends welcome to Aisha's DIY um, we are going to design a necklace with uh, this beautiful labradorite gemstone right here so um, actually I want to do a necklace and a earring I pulled out this sterling silver snake chain this is 16 inches long and I have this chain and then I have some uh, sterling silver ear wires right here and um, I'm gonna use these to create a pendant so there is five teardrop beads that we got from Sam's speed box this month all these check glass three millimeter faceted pink beads are also from Sam's speed box uh, this month so I'm just going to check I mean not all the um, gearings are the same shape and size right see if you can see here it's chipped a little bit more so it's at an angle if you can see right so I don't know if this will be a good fit for the earring but this will be I guess yeah that's good let's see we need to like relatively similar sizes we don't want it like really you know a different size these two can fit for earrings so I'm just going to take this and keep that I'm going to use three of these for the pendant I have here some 24 gauge wire this is artistic wire silver plated and I'm going to use that and then um, I'm gonna use these ball head pins I don't think so these are silver plated maybe but I'm not so sure because it's been a while since I removed the um, uh, the sticker so I'm just going to create this into a wrapped loop These small head pins are perfect for wire wrapping such teeny tiny gemstones or uh, check glass beads such like that. Then what I'm going to do here is uh, first we will wire wrap the braillet. We'll make the earrings first. So I just eyeball it and uh, cut about say three and a half to four inches of wire let me just measure this in case if you guys want to know the length um, I haven't straightened out without straightening it's three so probably three and a half so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this um, 24 gauge wire and insert my um, labradorite I think 26 gauge should be a better fit for this I think see already it broke let me just check if not I should yeah this won't fit actually it did fit um, maybe it's just the angle that I put it in so it just I just do this this is two thirds of this part this is one third over there I just bend all the wires <coughs> I would say um, practice excess caution with these tiny tiny beads because what happens generally is they are very dainty so what I do is I just crisscross the wire on top and which is the longest wire I just take it and bend it up like this and bring the other wire on top of this and then hold this wire like that take the shortest wire and kind of wrap it so when you start wrapping it you have to come down okay I already broke the labrador right that's not a good idea I should have used 26 gauge it's a change of plans I don't think so I can do earrings with it.
so I grabbed some 26 gauge wire let's see if we can make this work I'm gonna straighten this wire a little bit with my nylon job pliers and then I'm gonna set this aside and I'm gonna try doing this so what I'm gonna do here is I'm just going to insert it and bend this wire on top just going to cut excuse me so we have to practice extra 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 caution over here and just hold on to that all this and So what I'm going to go ahead and do here is take this wire and snip off this excess wire. Just one um, tap is more than enough. I have it right here. Let it be like this. Then what I do is these dangles i want to add these dangles on top of these and see how it looks okay i just need to buy some more length so what i do is i add one more check glass right here so that will give us the enough length so now if you add these beads okay let me make more dangles there we go so what I do here is before closing the loop okay I add the other loop to this This is another technique that we can use it to, you know, to our advantage so that if we add it on top, it will look really nice. Snip off the excess wire and let's tuck the tail in. So, like this, I will have to make one more. So, how do we make the wrap loop? Before closing the loop, make sure to add it to the other loop of the other tangle hold it on and then just if the wire gauge is proper you can do it with your fingers without any problems let me just slow down and share this um, wrapped loop process nicely so I need to create dangles like this okay so what I'm going to do is take your head pin add your bead whichever bead it is the wrap loop is the easiest one the more you do the better you get at it even if you leave a couple of days um, I mean then it's hard to come back then so keep your pliers see I kept it a little bit inside this is the t um, size of the loop that I want so I mean this is the height that I want so I then I reposition my pliers like this and then bring it around this mandrel and then reposition it again 
and then bring it around and make a loop like that so now I am adding one more tangle to this loop and then I'm going to hold it right there and then wrap it you can also use your pliers to wrap it if you want this nice and tight then you can snip off it doesn't have to be all the wire that you have to wrap it and then only finish it up no two wraps is also more than enough for a wrapped loop it's the most secure loop than the basic loop there we go two dangles and then I'm gonna do one more take the bead hold this so the height of this determines how much uh, space you want for the wraps to come if you do it immediately there won't be any space to wrap then reposition it between the two mandals of your pliers bring it around just like so okay you have a question mark right now then now hold it in between that plier then bring it like that you can take your needle nose pliers and go around it tightly in my case I'm using a tweezer nose pliers this is from Zoran this is a plier which I really like the most it's very lightweight and very easy to handle snip off the excess wire see the short tail right there I hope you guys can see that so and then you tuck the tail in by just squishing it against the loop the wrap so I made one without attaching it that's a mistake but that's okay I can I have to make a couple of dangles like this and then when you put this dangle on top of um, this like this you will get a much more you know fuller look than the than the other or you can add it to a jump ring and then you can add it that way also so just like so I think we don't even need that maybe maybe not maybe we need that bead to give us the length So I will make more of these three three dangles and then come back for both the earrings then we will make the necklace hi friends welcome back so I figured I really like the bunch of this dangles on top of the labradorite it's a very pale color combination but it is very subtle and I really like it so um, so we are doing this three wrapped dangle crystal bunch so i'm i have made already three and in this there is four and i like the effect of the four the fullness of that so it's a little bit of you know <laughs> um stash buster of this eye pins these cool eye pins i really like ball sorry head pins i really like uh head pins especially this ball head pins a lot and I wish I can make them myself so that I don't end up paying quite a lot of money for these and uh, I no longer um, know a place to buy this cheap that to a good quality one and it's very hard for me to determine the size of it I feel that the 21 gauge um, is a much better option is what I feel but normally when you buy the head pins in the packet they don't say the gauge it's just how you when you work with it the feel of it you will understand okay this is a comfortable one and this is a brittle some some head pins I have seen they look like a really good quality but when you start working with it then you realize that the they are brittle 
you know um very very brutal i remember one time um in, in my initial stages of uh, jewelry making like i'm talking about say third 12 years back or so so um initially when i was um uh, going to this international gem and jewelry show that's where actually i um i really fell in love with so many beads over there that's the stalls was amazing they had so many varieties it was so intriguing to me to watch um the people buy over there and then i thought okay why not i buy it for myself i just got i went to get some gifts um to my relatives and friends back in india when i was going on a trip to india that summer so that's why that's how i started going to the gem and jewelry show but i was looking at all other finished products you know what i mean like um necklaces and stuff um uh, basically mostly um watches in the bags and stuff those were also there so and then i got some strands uh, but in india um there are so many uh, designers i believe and it is um, very easy for you to give them the strands and ask them to make you you know a two, two strand necklace or three strand necklace they will make it for you even the jewelers there which is a very big business unlike here um they tend to do it for you but no guarantee that the beads will be the same that you gave but uh, if you have a trust for the jeweler then you can give it to them and they can incorporate it with your gold and uh, uh, gold jewelry especially so here we go this is how i do a really nice wrap loop so i just hold it like this with my round nose pliers and take my tweezers nose pliers i constantly keep on saying needle nose pliers normally the one that you we use is called a chain nose pliers for some reason uh, but this one is a tweezers nose plier that much i am sure about it but somehow i say needle nose needle nose i don't know why but i realized it recently that i am saying that on the video i really apologize for that um chain nose pliers i think is the right um word and this one is a tweezer nose which is really cool so tuck the tail in okay see i made a mistake here so i wrapped it and i am supposed to add it here now i cannot so i keep this tangle for some other purpose i take this and take another one i'll show you guys from the start i was talking about jewelry right there okay here we go keep it right on top of your bead bend the wire to 90 degrees and reposition your pliers like this and bend it around your mandrel just like so take it off reposition your pliers and see how i'm bending it to the side so that the loop sits properly on the top and then take it a little bit ahead not below that way it will be easy for you to wrap so take the end with your pliers and then now if you wrap it it will come properly okay here also i'm missing to add the rest <laughs> and then now we shall continue doing that so i buy this pearl and coral strands which is very very um um well rated in india i would say um uh, at least in my circle they don't know much about gemstones guys i mean uh, ruby emerald um those things they know but not carnelian not labradorite those things 
they don't know much and the gold jewelers there they make it with mainly the uh, semi precious stones like ruby emerald sapphire um and pearl coral diamond so they have this navaratan um jewelry most of the people in india have it so those are important but not the carnelian not the labradorite not the uh, citrine i haven't seen that much of these things see there um so i my fascination started with that what i wanted to say is i used to buy the head pins from the international gem and jewelry show in my initial years um but nowadays i am not able to find a good place to get it and then i i even got it from ebay once upon a time but they are not very good quality i prefer to see it at least before i buy it so you know the quality is um, good for us so this is the wrapped loop that i created here as well i take one more of this um faceted 3 mm check glass bead on top and then i take this dangles and just i mean doesn't matter which which loop you are putting in just one loop just add it any one loop if it is um cluster that we created you can do this four cluster five cluster it takes its time consuming but it's gorgeous as you can see here it's pretty right so now all you need to do here is take your pliers okay and hold it on top of all of these beads bend it and take it around and take it make that loop kind of a thing right and then i just don't want to put any pressure on to the labradorite because i already broke one which i was very sad and mad i know i was really really because i broke those yesterday i was grumpy a little bit because of that fact and now i'm adding the ear wire to to the loop okay already we have a lot in place as you can see but trust me you want to do it right now and then kind of take your fingers because it's 26 gauge it's nice and supple to work with and then snap off that excess wire right there so the dangle earrings is ready i really like the way it turned out to be it's so cute and i shall lay that down now the next one the same thing one bead and i added the cluster on the top and i'm just doing this dab loop there we go and make sure to add your ear wire to that loop and then hold on like that and then start wrapping It's a very dainty earring, but I really love them. So very very cute and pretty. The earrings are done. Um, now we will design the pendant. So the pendant I was supposed to have three beads. You guys know I broke this. So now I have only two of these beads, right? So I'm just going to see how I can play this. First, anyways, I will start. with like around a two and a half inch piece okay two of that and gently put it through the labrador right bring it on the top just pinch it right there and take the short wire 
and kind of wrap it around very gently very very gently and then snip that excess off I know the wrap is not proper but I am worried about I just wrapped it around with my pliers there we go so that's one done one more to go add this wire so this one is pretty thick so I think but you never know until you break right and take that wire and wrap it around once or one and a half times that's more than enough and snip that excess off and then tuck that tail in we are ready with the two so now I need to figure that design out so I thought I will incorporate this in the first place but as I said I don't have that much um, let me see if I can still do that have the space right here I cut about say 24 gauge this is a 3 inch wire and just straighten those with my fingers okay and what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to make a wrap loop hold it on top of the coil that you made bend it to 90 degrees reposition it and bring it around I want this labrador to sit alone in the necklace and then I'm just going to wrap 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 until I reach that and I'm gonna stop and snip that off and then tuck the tail in we have one wrap ready let's do the next one bend it take it around bring it wrap 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 and There we go. Snip that off. Tuck the tail in. Then we have two dangles ready. Now all we have to do here is. So this is a bit odd. So what I'm going to do here is adjust that. Hopefully I don't break this labradorite. But I just can't sit with the fact that wrap is not tight now it's better but not the best this one has come out good take this and actually the previous design I wanted to do was not do the wire wrap but to just add this directly with the gap but now I don't want that I'm going to add these 
see this is going on top of this Let's do this, bring it around and then wrap that short piece around the big piece nice and tight. And then snip that off, tuck that tail in. Now we have this. See how this has become. No, I, I don't. I'm scared to even manipulate this a little bit on the side because I might lose the labradorite. Okay. So just going to do this again because I'm not happy with it that's okay There we go. It's okay to do it one more time. Take it and I feel that this labradorite is pretty stable. Is my opinion. the pliers this time and squishing those two coils and bringing that coil around just one more time and then snipping it off now that's proper I just want to center this before I continue any further now let's do the sorry pump the camera hold it on top bend it 90 degrees reposition it and then come back I wrap around until I reach the bottom wrap and then I snip it off. Now I'm happy with my wrap a little bit. Okay, that's there. And this one is, you can use this as a bale. Let me see. Yep. This jump ring is, oh, we can open this jump ring 
So if we can take this through that. Let me just open this jump ring. When you open this jump ring, use a backward forward motion and then slip this off. This thing, there we go. Then we can put this jump ring back. I need two set of pliers for this. There we go. So now this is in here. Now more dangles. So we have two drops, which I'm going to do a staggered look like one here and one here. That's what I'm trying to do it. But I want to add some beads. So first I will add one of this drop right there and then I will continue with some um, dangles. Just put one dangle and then one bead. Right? And then I will do some more dangles and come back. Hi. I have an idea so just bear with me i'm just doing it um on camera on the spot so i just added this um um sorry the truck bead and then this coil that we could had between the labrador i added that and then again um check glass truck bead and then here we go one dangle which consists of three dangles just like the one that we did in um, um and also what i want to do here is what i want to do here is actually um make this loop not flat but to be perpendicular to the beat just like that twist it like this way both the things hold it tight and twist it to the side so I add one of this cluster and then one of this um, left or right dangle and then again another cluster and doesn't matter which loop you add it in everything's connected and then add this coil right here right and then i oh, no 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 before the coil one of the three millimeter bead and then again a coil again a three millimeter i just want to just bend this wire because this is 26 gauge wire it's not that strong so if you add this coil it makes it stronger so now i add one other dangle okay and then the laboratory drop and another triangle and then another three millimeter bead and then bend this wire upwards towards the top right just like so then you add you add another coil then uh, three millimeter then you have this triangle shape So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wrap 
this triangle this short tail around this this is what I wanted to achieve and I did achieve this okay now all you need to do here is move that a little bit down there and take your wire and wrap it around just like so snip off the excess wire and tuck the tail in okay so here we go our earring our pendant is done so when you wear it it will be like this I can tweak this a little bit down right there there we go that's a different design not our usual design is all I'm thinking matching earrings I love this the way it turned out to be it's not our usual pattern it's quite different and I really like the set I hope you guys like this too if you do give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel don't forget to hit the bell icon for notification I do upload videos almost a couple of videos a week thanks so much for watching have a good day bye